Governor, you, you've regards. talked about taking away uh, student visas from those, quote, demonstrating with Hamas. Is that something, as president, that you would do retroactively? Uh, well, it yeah, I mean, it depends. I mean, I think that you don't have a right to come here to this country at all as a foreigner. It's what we decide you do. You don't have a right to a student visa. It's what we decide. And to be out there celebrating the massacring of Israeli civilians, uh, that is not something that I'm going to extend a privilege to you any further. And so we would yank that uh, and send you on your way. And, you know, some of the stuff I think is really, really sick what we've seen. Um, I think you've seen a lot of anti-Jewish hatred just bubble to the surface. Some of the stuff, quite frankly, I think some of these people don't even know what they're protesting. I think this is kind of the new current thing. They think they got to go out there and do. But um, the reality is uh, Hamas is a terrorist group. Uh, not just the deaths, which is bad, but the brutality in which those deaths were done. Israel has every right to defend itself. And they have the right to defend itself to the hilt. And we're just going to stand with that 100%. Governor, should, should the Israelis delay a, a ground offensive into Gaza until uh, the U.S. and the Israelis are able to secure more hostages? I think that's a tactical decision to make based on the intelligence on the ground. Clearly, I think both the Israelis um, and the American government have a strong interest in recovering as many of our citizens as, as possible. Uh, whether doing a ground invasion would inhibit that or help that, I think would, would, require, would be based on the intelligence that you have at the time. Governor, Governor, you were in Congress. Uh, Governor, would you support President Biden's Oh, of course not. I mean, this is the problem. First of all, glumming all this stuff together is a joke. These are all separate issues. But if you look, he's like, oh, I'm going to put – Four billion or whatever for border security. It is not to keep illegal immigrants out. It is to process more coming in. It would actually make the problem worse because it's an incentive for more people to come. Uh, and then there's a whole host of problems with these other things. So yes, they they should not play these these Washington games. Uh, they should debate issues um, as they come up. But they should look at this and say, okay, wait a minute. Um, this government has spent billions of dollars paying salaries and pensions for Ukrainian bureaucrats. And yet you don't do anything to secure your own border here. And it's not all a money thing. It's a, it's a policy thing. But I think we've seen this country is vulnerable. Uh, do you not think? I mean, there's, there's dozens of people from random Middle East countries coming every day. Do you not think that our enemies are taking advantage of this? We know Chinese nationals have come, Russian nationals, Iranians, other people in the Middle East. And this is just happening unabated. Uh, and it's a major, major risk to the security of this country. That's why it'll be a day one issue for me. Uh, we're going to stop stop the invasion. We're going to do everything you need to do. You know, I noticed um, uh, Donald Trump was in New Hampshire yesterday, and he ran in 2016, and I was very supportive of this. I was at the rallies. It was fun. Build the wall and have Mexico pay for it. Maybe one of the most famous political promises in the history of American politics. Now, he didn't get that done. But what he said yesterday, and he repeated this, he's, he said this previously, he's like, well, there was, there was no way he could do it because there's no legal mechanism to get Mexico to pay. Now, that wasn't what he was saying in 16 because people were telling him, you're not going to get it. He's like, oh, yeah, they are. They're just going to hand over the money. He says, you can't just have them hand over. Of course you can't. That's not how you do it. The way you get Mexico to pay is you, you, you uh, impose fees on the remittances that people send back to Mexico, Central America, these other countries, really anywhere in the world. It's billions of dollars, and you can do that uh, to build the wall. So I think at this point in the country, like we need leadership that's going to deliver results. Uh, we have enough of the sloganeering. It's not just going out there and puffing and being blustery. It's about how are you actually going to deliver on all these issues. Because, you know, if he had delivered on those issues, it would have been much more difficult for Biden to do what he's been able to do at the border. I mean, if we did have a, a fully built wall, it would have absolutely made it more difficult for illegal aliens to come into this country. So, Governor,